Hello and thank you for watching. What we have here is the Battle Wagon 2.0. We're going to do something a bit different today and we're going to take a look at Jeff Cress's M1045A2. Um, he picked this up from the surplus yard when he bought it off GovPlanet.com. Now as you can see he's done a lot of work to it. It used to be a tow missile carrier for the US Marine Corps and now not much has been done in the way to reconfigure it, but it does have a machine gun up there instead of a tow missile carrier. A lot of the original brackets and stuff inside are still intact. And then of course the hardtop is the original hardtop. The turret needed some work to get functioning and the slam back works like it should. So we'll start her up here a minute just so you can see what the pressure gauges run at and stuff. From what I know it does have updated ESS and new go plugs so it starts like a champ. And once we turn her over, you can see the oil pressure come right up to 60 pounds. Now one thing you'll notice if you've been paying attention to my videos, these have a locking e-brake. And then this one has a four speed, as you can see right there. Now the locking e-brake is great. Right now it's easy to flip my e-brake forward and then if you're parked on a hill it goes rolling forwards. Of course the four speed is a superb upgrade, one that I've contemplated quite a bit for mine. One thing I ran into is the cost of doing the upgrade. Right now I can comfortably go 55 down the interstate. With 4 speed you can comfortably go 75 down the interstate. Now here's what it looks like with everything open. As you can see it's that beautiful army desert tan color there and then the inside has uh, stayed original to the army green. So. Now we'll zoom in on the engine compartment here and as you can see it's very clean and well maintained, kept in excellent condition. We'll zoom out and take a special look at the supplemental armor doors here and then we'll switch inside here so that you can take a close and good look at the turret. Now here is the iconic military Whippington, that's not hooked up but it sure can be. I hooked mine up to a CB radio in a two-way. Here is the Ibis Tech low profile front bumper, I've never seen one before, armored hood, and then of course your airlift rear bumper with mud flaps. Now this is a piece I did consider getting but decided against it. Now one thing that I do wish I have as well was a two inch receiver hitch, but I do have the backup camera though this one is much better installed because it flush mounts with a frame. And then of course the monitors right there. Here you have your locking fuel tank door. And then your deep fording exhaust, this is set up for deep fording. All it needs is the snorkel on the intake. Now here are the LED headlights and it also has LED marker lights and tail lights. One thing I just missed was the headlights are heated. So if you're in colder environments, that heated headlight is a nice option. Green dash lights. And then as I stated before, Starts up easy because it has the updated new electronic start system. As we look inside the engine compartment there, if you've spent a lot of time on my videos, you'll know this one looks a bit different. It has a large generator, also has a reservoir for the power steering pump. And as we come over to this other side, you'll get a good look at the serpentine belt system. Now these are all options that I wish I had on my vehicle, but you know, that's what happens when you have a M998 instead of the new M1045s. Underneath this vehicle looks superb. With my vehicle I did quite a bit of work bending some things straight and reinforcing it just because they do tend to get beat up when in service and in use. Now as we come up to the slant back here which is one of my favorite parts you can see a lot of the original military equipment is still intact. It hasn't been removed and as we zoom out here you if you know much about the tire carriers, this is an Ibis Tech tire carrier. Used as a half inch socket to raise and lower the tire. And these tires are on a 24 bolt wheel and they are the Goodyear Wranglers which are an excellent tire. So these are some of the differences you can expect to see between the older M998s and the newer M1045 A2 series Humvees. Now, not only does it have the mechanical upgrades, but this particular model has the aesthetic upgrades I always wanted. It has a slant back and a functional turner with a machine gun mount. If Jeff was taking trades on this truck, I would offer him a trade, but he is taking cash. So if you're interested, feel free to hit him up. Those are his contact details right there. 
And be sure to mention the Hummer Mods channel and that you saw this video and he'll give you a special deal on his truck that he has for sale. So special thanks to Jeff Kress for allowing me the ability to use this footage to do the comparison. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching.